My name is Natalie. I served in the Arizona Tucson mission and I've dealt with suicidal thoughts. Best way to introduce yourself to somebody. <laughs> it started back in high school, somewhere into my junior year and senior year. I was an upbeat person. I helped out a lot of people and I was always trying to be the best girl to help and serve around me. But what I didn't realize was that I didn't have anyone there to support me. I won't go into detail, but my life got hard and I didn't have anyone to fall back on and eventually I just spiraled and spiraled until I started contemplating my own death and it would have been the end of me if I didn't have a friend reach out to me one day and honestly, sincerely look at me and ask, hey, are you doing okay? Like, honestly, you've been a little weird lately and I just, I want to know what's going on. What's up? And so, honestly, that was the push that I needed. Like, we sat, we talked and talked, and he didn't say anything. It was mostly just me crying and listing off everything going on. But that's what I needed. Just somebody to sit there and listen to me and to empathize, even though he had absolutely no idea of what it was like to do any of that. Just him being there and empathizing was enough to carry me through that. Eventually I got better, and hey, I'm still here. And well, eventually I decided to put in my missionary papers so I could go and serve. My previous history made it a lot harder for me to become a missionary. And so that led to several months of fighting. It was a struggle, but eventually I burst out the door. While things honestly didn't get easier as a missionary, I was really insecure for the first few months, and I was anxious, and I was paranoid, because in the back of my mind, I, there was that little tiny thought of, hey, these people are going to realize I'm crazy, and then they're going to ship me away, and then I'm going to be like locked up in an assailant asylum or something, and there's just going to be padded walls everywhere, and that was the nightmare keeping me up for months. And months until one day I was doing my personal study. I was reading through the account of Mark about the Savior and I just stopped myself for a moment and I thought, why am I worrying about this? If the Lord, if the Lord didn't think I could handle this, he wouldn't have let me come out here. He would have just sent me home and I would be banging my head into the padded walls right now because that's what I thought mental health treatment is like at the time, but no, instead, I'm here because he wanted me here. And just putting in that thought of he wants me here was enough to assure me and move past those doubts. And eventually, I was able to move past my paranoia and fear, and I was able to focus on the people again. And I was able to be there for companions who were anxious, nervous themselves, and having their own breakdowns. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but I managed to do it. Honestly, for everyone out there suffering and currently going through that battle, all I can say is, I get it. You're not crazy. You're not broken. You're just going through it. I get it. It's a little bit like being one of those astronauts in the 1960s where they put them in these scrapped together metal tubes and launch them up into space. And so you get there and that's what it feels like to me to be suicidal at the time. Which you're just in this huge dark void that's threatening to t pull at you at any moment and there's only this thin wall to protect you. But you just gotta stay focused and get through it. It helps when there's like radio command in talking to you, guiding you through it until eventually you can get back to Earth. And so honestly, it's the best when you can have a friend to turn to or somebody who can be there. And you know, sometimes that isn't always the option. But what comforted me on my mission especially was knowing that even if I didn't have anyone else to talk to, there was a savior that knew exactly what it felt like. 
he wasn't judging me, he wasn't criticizing me at all. He was just standing by my side. He was in the ship with me until I could come down to Earth. So hang in there. You will get through it, and you will come back down to Earth.